To health matters now, when most people breathe, it's hardly noticeable, but for over 230 million people around the world, with Nigeria accounting for about 15 to 20 million of the global figures, this voluntary action can be out of the ordinary. Tonight on our Focus on Health, our correspondent Yomi Otaibe takes a look at asthma, a non-communicable condition that, amongst other symptoms, comes with difficulty in breathing. Quoting a population of about 170 million people in Nigeria in 2014, the World Health Organization, WHO, in its non-communicable diseases country profile shows that the proportional mortality from non-communicable diseases in the country is 34% of the population. Asthma is one of these diseases. A professor of medicine and consultant chest physician at the Obafemi Awolowa University Teaching Hospital in Oshun State, Professor Gregory Erabo explains that asthma, a chronic condition of the airways in the lungs, is caused by a combination of two factors and characterized by variable and recurring symptoms. Asthma can be looked at in two ways, nature and nurture. For you to have asthma, you must have had someone in your family who has asthma or asthma-like kind of disease. So the first cause is genetics, so it has to be gene. Then the second one is the environment. So when gene and the environment meet together, we have the symptoms of asthma. If a person begins to find it difficult to breathe, his chest is tight, he's making a noisy breathing, and he finds he's coughing, and it happens more in the night, and when there are trigger factors like small insects cause the house does might, pollens, or the person is exposed to exhaust of fumes, pungent odors, or exercise, cold, or sometimes cold water, and then some infections, like viral infections. When you see that, you know that the person is asthmatic. There are so many reports on the various number of people in Nigeria, but I can tell you that in this country, for sure, about 15 to 20 million people will be said to be suffering from asthma. Because some other medical conditions, such as bronchitis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and congestive heart failure can also present with similar symptoms, there's a diagnosis method for asthma. What I have in my hand is a peak flow meter. This can be used to make a diagnosis of asthma. What you do is, it's just for you to blow into it, something like this, and then it measures a value. People who have asthma tend to have a lower flow when they measure it, and then people with normal, normal lung function, their peak flow will be higher. Whether it's allergic rhinitis, exercise-induced, cough variant, or occupational type of asthma, management of the condition is important to prevent fatality. Asthma can be well managed. What we do is that we give patients medications. So they have medications they have to take. There are medications they take that cause relief of their symptoms whenever they have the difficulty in breathing and wheezing. But better than that, there is also the preventer medication. They reduce the inflammation and then the person can now have very well controlled asthma. But apart from medication, there are other things patients would also have to avoid. Lifestyle is also important. Lifestyle and management is also important. Avoidance of triggers. Asthma usually has its onset in childhood or adolescence. However, adults may develop asthma without a previous history of the disease. Scientifically, asthma cannot be cured, but appropriate management can control the disorder and enable people living with the condition to enjoy a good quality of life. Yomi Otaibi, reporting for Channels Television News.
If you're still trying to understand why you get those hidden charges from banks, the Central Bank has a word for you. And Anne tells us more on Business News. Thanks a lot, Melinda. And yes, welcome to Business News. Any bank customer who feels cheated or shortchanged should engage such a bank to complain or even write to the Central Bank of Nigeria. But that's a message from the Director of Banking and Payment System at the CBN, Mr. Dipo Fatokun, who told Channel's Television earlier today that customers should seek clarification regarding stamp duty and other invisibles to ensure their monies are not deducted illegally. A former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, has challenged the federal government to tap into the varying opportunities in the Nigerian capital market. Mr. Peter Obi gave this recommendation at the second capital market conference hosted by the Association of Stockbroken Houses of Nigeria right here in Lagos. And the federal government bonds has outweighed state bonds in the last two years under the Buhari administration. But that's according to a senior analyst with Planet Capital, Ibinabo Princewill. She says that she was telling Channels Television how the fall in crude oil price impacted the market and she explained the way out. Crowding out effect. The federal government has capacity to borrow at certain rates. Companies, um, corporate bonds and state government bonds, not so much. In terms of state government bonds, their um, allocation, revenue allocation, FAC um, allocation is actually lower because of the drop in oil prices. So repaying those bonds, they might struggle with it. They already have existing debt for some of them, so they don't have much room in terms of borrowing more for infrastructural development. So that's why they're encouraged to increase their internal generated revenues to support um, expenditure. That's a wrap in business news tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Back to you, Melinda. Many thanks, Anne. Blended Scotch whiskey brand Johnny Walker is joining in the Lagos at 50 celebration in a special way as it rewards residents with a one-way free pass at the Lake Ekpe Expressway toll gate. Motorists were relieved of the 150 Naira toll fee free for eight minutes while they received cards with inspirational messages. It started like another regular Friday morning in the lecky axis of Etiosa, local government area of Lagos State, with commuters gradually navigating their ways through the early morning light showers. Suddenly, the giant billboard above the toll gate girls' quote opens in one minute. Shortly after, it brightens up with the Johnny Walker campaign encouraging Nigerians. While the ad runs, Johnny Walker waitresses man the various toll pay points, giving out special cards with inspiring quotes about progress, success, hard work, and persistence. They also share some good news with motorists. The toll fee has been paid for courtesy of Johnny Walker. I keep walking. Wow. Yes, wow. Maria Zeron, the brand manager, Johnny Walker, Nigeria, explains what is going on and why. Today, what we are doing is that to every commuter that is passing, we're giving them a free toll gate, uh, courtesy on Johnny Walker, to inspire them to have a better day. So this is basically what we're doing with the celebration of Lagos at 50. And of course, everyone appreciates a bit of break here and there, even more if it's a break from paying the regular toll fare. I'm happy they should keep working. I really appreciate the effort. It's good. So, is this beyond the immediate surprise and one-way toll-free access? Yes, our purpose is to inspire and celebrate personal progress for people. So we do believe that we are doing that for Lagosians, that we see them. And not only for Lagosians, because this is the first initiative that we will have. We will have many others in Nigeria. And that's the story of how Johnny Walker celebrates and inspires citizens as Lagos State marks its 50th anniversary. 
The adults are not the only ones getting the free beads. It's a season for celebrating children in Nigeria. And OK Food, manufacturers of Chick Chock biscuits and sweets, is taking out almost a week to do just that. In a fun day for hundreds of them at a party tagged Do the Chick Chock, the company gave gifts to children for winning various competitions. Children from several schools around Lagos let their hair down in this preliminary warm-up on the dance floor. The day is spiced up with some choreography and cultural dance. Then comes the Chick Chock dance competition proper. From two contestants per school, dancing to the Chick Chock themed music, judges narrow it down to five, then three, even as losers are given consolation prizes on the side. By this time, contestants have put on Chick Chock t-shirts. <laughs> Guided by chairs from the crowd of children, the judges pick a winner. gift is handed over by a representative of the State Universal Basic Education Board. I feel very good. It took me two weeks to train for this competition. As a band, we have a do the chick chop time, which is a time when you delight and refresh yourself. Because children in Nigeria, they live very hectic lives, you know, from going to school and running errands and doing chores. So, so because of that, they always look forward to those delightful moments when they can refresh themselves, when they can delight and have fun. And Chick Chock as a brand, that is what we stand for. Chick Chock continues the fun up until the 29th of May at different locations around Lagos. Still ahead on the news at 10, African Church Primary School from Ogun State emerged victorious at the Season 9 of the Channel's Kids Cup. That's on Sports News. Stay with us.